we'll inshallah open up the platform to Sheikh Jamil coming live from Johannesburg, South Africa. Hafizahullah. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ahlan wa sahlan. We greet you with the purest of greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, wherever you may be. Particularly that salam on our brothers in Palestine and Gaza. Uh, and everyone that has a need uh, uh, to be fulfilled by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which brings us to the benefit of the Suratib, inshallah. Amen. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi al-awwalu al-ladhi laysa qablahu shayh. Fa minhu bada tafasila ma kana minha wa ma yakun al-akhir al-ladhi laysa ba'dahu shayh. Fa huwa al-baqi al-ladhi يرجع الأمر كله من كل شيء في كل حركة وسكون الظاهر الذي ليس فوقه شيء فهو المعلوم المشهود بالتجل النوري في مجال البروز المكون الباطن الذي ليس دونه شيء فهو الواسع المحيط البواطن في البواطن في مواطن الظهور بالبطون وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله وبرجس جوت الله سبحانه وتعالى هو is absolutely no example or مثال and from Allah سبحانه وتعالى does every explanation في الظاهر in the express state is then uh, expressed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala everything then will return to him al-baqi who is always uh, uh, um, there subhanahu wa ta'ala la yazuli will never ever stop to uh, a disease or his benefit uh, and that is from where we recite our shahada that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone is in control of the universe and in control of every aspect of our lives. So um, without further ado, um, the task uh, of having to explain the Ratib uh, al-Atas um, is never devoid from its uh, compiler, who is none other than Sheikh Omar ibn Abdurrahman al-Atas. So um, we know that uh, Sheikh Omar ibn Abdurrahman al-Atas was born in the latter part of the, uh, uh, the 991 uh, Hijri, which puts him into place with some great scholars uh, uh, like Ibn Hajar al-Haythami, um, whom uh, the entire Shafi fiqh is dependent on. And we will see, you know, uh, maybe in later lessons that uh, a, a great scholar that uh, like Ibn Hajar actually followed the tariqah of the Ba'alawiyah. Um, you know, uh, more specifically, the tariqah al Aydarusi at the time that was very great uh, uh, through Sheikh Abu Bakr al Aydarus. So, Sheikh Umar ibn Abdurrahman al Atas, just a small uh, um, understanding that um, the scholars say if you look at some of the, um, the biographies um, that was written, you will not find Sheikh um, Abdurrahman al Atas in the Wabil Hussein Umar al Atas, Man Katkana min Ahli al Yakini bi Mawdi'in. كذا عن الأطاس رأس الطائفة وغيره ممن رزق عواطفة. So we find that in this bait of poetry it is stated that Abdurrah Sheikh Abdurrahman Al-Atas who has a laqab of his son Hussein. It's quite important for those that would want to expound on readings that to in order to understand these great illuminaries you'll have to indulged with the great uh, uh, scholars that they in, uh, um, interacted with. In this case, his son is um, mentioned because even in the life of Imam al-Haddad, the son of Imam Hus uh, 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 Sheikh Abdurrahman al-Attas, 
uh, becomes very significant. So we'll find that uh, the author of Mashra al Rawi, for instance, does not mention Sheikh Abdurrahman al Atas yet. He mentions Sayyid, uh, uh, Sayyid Abdullah ibn Ala al Haddad, one of the most prominent students of uh, Sheikh Abdurrahman al Atas. And this is not uh, to an, uh, due to an oversight. But if one understands the life of Sheikh uh, 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 Al Habib uh, Omar ibn Abdurrahman al Atas, you will find that he operated under Khumul, that he was not very much open in the public arena, yet he played a direct role in affecting the, um, the public that he was um, engaged in. So, so to give you an example, um, one of the, um, the leaders of Yemen at its time seeks to visit uh, uh, um, the Qariya of, uh, uh, um, of Huraida, where uh, Sheikh Abdurrahman, Umar um, Abdurrahman al Atas was uh, present and he requested a meeting. And because of Sheikh's profound insight, he refused to meet the, uh, 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 the ruler in his village. Why? Because the people are already poor. They're going to make that leave to try and uh, 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 get some favor from uh, the Khalifa. So he seeks a meeting under a date palm tree. And at the date palm tree, he provides him from berries produced from that particular tree. And also, the only other thing that he presents is the, um, the Bukhur uh, uh, to make uh, uh, um, the environment in which that meeting is going to take place to be a pleasant one, a one that is done in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So doing that, he has no favor to return to the Khalifa, yet he will be then be a benefit to the Khalifa. So that is just uh, one of the um, things that I wanted to mention, how um, extremely humble uh, Sheikh Abdurrahman, Umar ibn Abdurrahman al Atas was. So if we want to find out about scholars, generally we look at the books that they wrote. In the case of uh, Sayyidina Omar ibn Abdurrahman al Atas, you will not find the books except that which was uh, written by Imam al Haddad. Imam al Haddad alludes to that. He says that whatever has been taught to me, you will find in my books. And we know that the books of Imam al Haddad uh, is beyond mashhur. So, we find that uh, Sayyidina, uh, Sayyidina Umar ibn Abdurrahman al Atas has never described anything to him except this Ratib. So, this Ratib, Ratib al Atas, um, is one which is profound and is embedded with Asrar wal Anwar, you know, secrets and illuminations. Kabir, it has tremendous benefits. Ghazar. You know, um, the fawaid is so immense that it would cause a flood into your house. You can even destroy it. You know, I'm, uh, in that particular manner is that the fawaid is great, greater than a flood that runs down through a city. We are excused from not knowing the full extent of the barakah of this thicker. Uh, the madad, the benefit of this ratib, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has gifted this great servant, Al-Imam Al-Azim Al-Qutub Al-Haiz, uh, Sheikh Abdurrahman al Atas, uh, his nasab, I'm not going to go into his nasab, but his nasab is mashhur. Um, there is about 26 grandfathers between him and Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. His nasab is uh, recorded 
and not recorded only for, 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 for uh, validation purposes. Uh, his nasab to Rasulullah is recorded together with the nasab of Rasulullah to uh, uh, Nabi Ismail through Sayyidina, Sayyid Waladi Adanan of the tribe of uh, Adanan. It is, uh, it is stated whoever writes the total nasab of Sheikh Omar ibn Abdurrahman al Atas and the nasab of uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to uh, Adnan, he will never ever be devoid of barakah in his life. You know, so that's the point that I want uh, uh, the murids, you know, to make sure that um, they benefit from this ratib purely by interacting with the author and his askar and orad that he has written, which we will know uh, that um, there will be a question as to, is this orad written from the sources of Islam or is it written from the uh, uh, spiritual affluations of the saint himself? Um, I will leave that uh, for now, but um, maybe something to think of when uh, going through uh, the Saratib. So the sources of the Saratib for scholars that uh, probably wish to, to, to engage uh, much more at a greater level is can be taken from two books that is as virtually the same title. It's uh, uh, Al-Qirtas. Um, and this, this is written by uh, Sayyidina Al Ali ibn, Husay, uh, ibn Hassan al Atas, and then also uh, added on to uh, th that sharh is a sharh of his greatest, one of his greatest student, students, Sayyid uh, uh, Sheikh Ali al Baras. So um, the word Kirtas is taken from. Uh, the word here is Rami al Gharad. So, when you have a bow and arrow and you want to aim for the middle or bullseye, as they say, um, the fact that you will attain bu uh, bullseye is called al Qirtas. Imam Nawawi Rahmullah Ta'ala states that in the Sahif, it is a Sahifa in which uh, it, uh, it is written in. So we know, for instance, that the uh, scholars of North Africa wrote the Quran on a kirtas. The students have to memorize it. By the time they wipe or erase the slate or kirtas, that verses are embedded in their, uh, 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 in their minds and uh, the zakira in their memory. So uh, In a hadith, man rafa'a kirtasun min al-ardi ijlanan lillahi uh, wali ismihi, whoever raises a piece of paper or slate with, on which uh, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name is written uh, and the fear an yudasa alayhi that somebody will trample on the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kutibah he will be written as the truthful ones for a simple, small act. And this very act is something that our uh, forefathers, you know, even if they had a newspaper with the name of Allah, they will preserve it, put it in a book, put it on the highest racks where nobody can trample on it. Uh, and it's something strange. And people later would ask, you know, what's, what's the value of that article? So the value of that article is that it begins in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His name is in the article. And therefore, Ijlan and Lahu, uh, uh, really honoring just the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, maktub uh, uh, that is written on a piece of paper, will uh, uh, raise you to the status of Hasadiqin. So, um, we find that... Um, the Ratib is also taken from uh, Rataba Shay Martuban or Rutuban, that it is something that is placed in sequence. And we will find that uh, the sequence of uh, the Athkar that is placed, 
The Askar of the Ratibul uh, uh, Atas generally is uh, around about 17 Askar. Needless to remind the, the Murids and the worshippers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that that is the amount of the, uh, the wajib raka'ah that we perform daily in our salah. So the ittisal of the adat 17, its secret is linked to the, the performance of that uh, 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 wajib salah, 17 rakats during the day, and enhances its performance. So the Ratibul Atas is also known as Azizul Manal wa Fathi Babil Wisal. So it is great attainment of treasures and opening the doors of Wisal. Uh, for lack of wanting to go into a greater uh, uh, meaning of the term Wisal, uh, which the scholars uh, um, of Tawheed and Mushahada describes as Ta'ayyun al-Awwal. So it would mean that the first that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala manifest himself to all of creation and specifically to the murid in what manner Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala draws him to the path that he is able to. So um, for, um, for the general uh, scholar, we will say that this maqam of wisal is the maqam of rida. It is a maqam of happiness towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his rasul and in turn reciprocal from Allah and his Rasul, that that rida is placed on uh, the murid, which is a great maqam. It's nothing uh, simple, but in, uh, it, it is really great. So some of the specific benefits of this Ratib al uh, atas, which is embedded in a baraka that is extended to the murid in a lifelong manner. And this is due to the lifelong obedience of the um, of the murid to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his rasul. The second benefit of the ratib is that it is it grants the person that applies this ratib on a uh, a regular basis. Uh, its time generally is either in the morning or the evening due to uh, where the Athkar has been extracted. And I will answer that question now that I posed uh, uh, earlier, that the entire Rati will Atas is from the sources of Islam, the Quran and the Sunnah, Mutahara of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the only interaction of the, um, uh, of the saint that has compiled it is his interaction and his knowledge of uh, uh, the injunctions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his Rasul, as it is stated that um, Sayyidina Umar ibn Abdurrahman al Atas was blind, similarly to Imam al Haddad, and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will appear to him mushahadatan ayanan. That Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will appear to him in a state where he sees Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with his eyes that he, that we already told you is blind. You know, and uh, due to that uh, uh, interaction, the entire Ratib uh, um, had the approval of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in, in the mushahada uh, um, interactions between Sayyidina Umar, Abdurrahman al Atas and Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the third benefit, so, so, so the second benefit is Husnul Khatima, that you will die with complete Iman uh, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you will see, we'll allude this into the uh, one of the Athkar, Ya Allah biha, Ya Allah biha, Ya Allah bi Husnul Khatima, that it is repeated thrice. Uh, maybe uh, at this injunction, can we all read it? Ya Allahu biha, Ya Allahu biha, Ya Allahu biha, Ya Allahu bi husni khatima. Inshallah, I hope everybody reads it. Because with that, the niyyah of passing away 
is directly uh, with iman is directly uh, attached to the end athkar or the athkar towards the end of the saratib that is mansub ila it is mansub ila faqih muqaddam muhammad ali ba alawi one of the other great uh, um, uh, outstanding uh, children of rasulullah sallam of this uh, tariqa in fact between faqih al muqaddam muhammad ali ba alawi and rasulullah sallallahu sallam there is only 17 grandfathers um, and um, the other um, um, grandson Al Alawi, who is the uncle of Faqih, between him and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there is one less, so it means 16 grandfathers between between the two. The two Usul, Faqih Muqaddam and Alawi, the uncle uh, 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 of Faqih, that is the two Usul of the entire Ba'alawi Tariqa. Um, so if you uh, uh, look at the tree, one stem higher than the other one, that would be Faqih. The other one lower would be Alawi, and they will be the usul of the entire Ba'alawi uh, 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 family, uh, uh, familiar lineage. So um, after uh, granting Husnul Khatima protect, uh, protection from each and every blemish and harm, the fourth uh, benefit to read this in an empty room, having wudu facing Qibla, making near for one's needs, whatever one makes near in that uh, uh, circumstance, and reading and repeating the entire Ratib Latas 41 times, is known to be uh, a means to fulfill Qada'ul Hajat. Whatever need a servant has, it will be fulfilled. So the first one is the preservation of wealth and uh, one's conditions or hal. We know with the fluidity of life, one's condition can deteriorate with one, one thought, you know, uh, or one action or one... Um, Oh, just one distraction. So reading the Ratibul Atas uh, secures the pathway of a murid uh, in his tra uh, traversing towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not in a physical manner, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, uh, far from being able to be described by physical dimensions uh, uh, or attributes. Um, and that's just one of the... <laughs> overpowering features of the, the Saratib, that it deals with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and more specifically the ismul a'adham of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in each and every of its uh, uh, invocations that I don't think we have enough time to explain that particular aspect even if we take five years. So, um, preservation of wealth and uh, hal, and that once end uh, a result will be praiseworthy, whatever you uh, uh, wish to achieve, dunya or ukhra. Everything of this uh, uh, material world or from your um, intents to the akhirah. Some of the specific uh, benefits also is that this benefit is not only to you reading this, but 40 homes around your area is protected from fire, drowning, and sihar. Yes, sihar, if ever, if ever anybody comes to you that is uh, uh, um, inflicted or afflicted with uh, uh, sihar, the re recital of this ratib is known and is mujarrab. It is tested by the awliya of Allah SWT that it will remove sihar. The seventh is that not only does it remove sihar, it is a protection for one from sihar. So if you are in an environment when an, where an eye can befall you, and, and know that this does not only befall you from an evil point. And a, a teacher, uh, a student reciting Quran from memory or hif to, to, to a teacher with a beautiful voice, in a moment in time can be affected by the eye of his teacher. 
you know, so uh, uh, the re recital of uh, this ratib and also the uh, the athkar in the sunnah, wala hawla wala quwwata illa billahi al-aliyul azim, is a protection for uh, for this. Inshallah, um, I hope uh, that covers quite extensively some of the benefits of this ratib. Um, suffice to say, um, uh, I've mentioned Sheikh uh, uh, Ali uh, Al-Baraz as one of the great commentators and uh, students of uh, Sheikh uh, Omar al -Atas. So we find in the Ratib, uh, 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 first uh, Sheikh Ali Al-Baraz is... Um, he is one of the great scholars uh, uh, of this path. Uh, and when Imam al-Haddad would come to a gathering of, of dhikr, and his eyes befall any one of the great uh, scholars uh, uh, that is attached to, uh, to his teachers, uh, Sayyid Omar ibn Abdurrahman al Latas, he will clearly state tonight, we will leave my ratib, and we will. Uh, uh, my preference is to read the ratib of my ustad, Sayyidina Omar ibn Abdurrahman al Latas. Um, okay, uh, is there any questions at this point uh, from anyone uh, on the floor with uh, with regards to the Ratibul Atas? Or any comments? Inshallah, we will then continue uh, in the absence of any of that, Inshallah. Uh, we have to say up front that um, that this specific uh, arati, if it was asked, that the adad, the manner in which the arati is read with the repetition of three times, is an indication that this arati is from the adhkar of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Uh, and therefore, Sayyidina Umar ibn Abdurrahman al Attas has chosen many of these formulae to be read three times. Uh, it's not exclusive because some of the um, other Athkar has um, other uh, quantities like 10 and 11. Um, so, just uh, before um, the start of the actual Athkar, um, we'll find that uh, what is common between the Ratibul Haddad and the Ratibul Attas is the Dhikr Tawheed. So the Dhikr uh, Tawheed here uh, refers to the Kalima La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah. So um, what is advised from uh, both Sayyidina Umar Ibn Abdurrahman and Sayyidina Abdullah Ibn Alaw al-Haddad, may Allah SWT preserve the benefits to us, inshallah, that these adhkar are read in dual with one nafas. So you take, you breathe in at the beginning of La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah. So you do not pause after the first La ilaha illallah, but you continue to La ilaha illallah. So every two formulae of that zikr, uh, Tawheed, one can then breathe and then refer, La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. And uh, it is stated that the benefit of this zikr is that uh, it strengthens the resolve of the heart. Um, so the maratib of zikr is four. As mentioned by uh, uh, um, by the author, uh, the Sharih of the Ratib al-Attas, taken from Imam al-Haddad, there are four uh, maratib of dhikr. The first one is dhikr al-lisan, the dhikr of the tongue. Somebody making dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, very little interactions um, with the heart at this stage. Takallufan, you force yourself on the tongue, la ilaha illallah. Uh, inshallah, we will get Ijaza. Um, I, but I, I think we're going to have to postpone Ijaza to, so to, 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 to get through the entire Zikr uh, 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 or make the Zikr in the session, but I will give it uh, here to Inshallah. But um, so, um, you know, because the Ijaza of this Zikr, um, you know, the benefit of the uh, Ijaza is, has already been, give, be, been given by our teachers, um, but I can specifically give from what I have received from some of my teachers, uh, inshallah. 
So um, the, uh, uh, the formulation of the zikr la ilaha illallah in both uh, Ratib al-Haddad and Ratib al-Attas, the benefit of this was taken, was given to Sayyidina Umar ibn Abdul Rahman al-Attas from a scholar, um, Sheikh Barakwa, and he is from, he hails from the uh, Samarkand area. So Sheikh Barakwa, um, uh, I know uh, Imam al-Haddad stated, they do not think that the uh, granting of permission to read the Talqeen of the La Ilaha Illallah given by Barakwa to Sayyidina Umar uh, uh, is um, an ijazah that Sayyidina Umar has taken from Barakwa, but merely an interaction between two scholars uh, where the benefit of this dhikr was given to uh, Sayyidina Umar al uh with his interaction uh, with um, uh, uh, Sayyid or Sheikh Barakwa. Uh, uh, Samarkandi. Um, okay, so inshallah, um, we will now um, uh, proceed to some of the uh, the benefits of the seeker, uh, the Ratibu uh, uh, specifically. Um, if I can just get you some of, okay. Okay, so uh, inshallah, um, the first of the zikrs of the Ratibul Atas is a Quranic ayah that is found in the latter part of Surah Al Hashr. Some of the scholars would read from the beginning of the ayah, Wallahu ladhi la ilaha illa hu alimul ghaybi wa shahadati huwa rahmanul rahim, Wallahu ladhi la ilaha illa hu. الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما يشركون هو الخالق البارع المصور له الأسماء الحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم So starting with the Bismillah uh, uh, This ayah is read um, specifically um, in, in South Africa and Cape Town, we find that um, the entire uh, um, Ratib is read in a very, very melodious tone. And that was to, 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 um, to teach the children um, from the very beginning, the Quranic ayahs that is specific to uh, the Ratib uh, and also uh, in this, the entrenchment of specifics that is uh, essential for um, the society to, to know. Uh, the Asma'ul Husna. In a hadith, it stated, Man ahsaha dakhal al -jannah. Whoever memorizes it will, is one of the pathways of the pathways to enter into paradise. Um, some scholars would say that if you concentrate on about 20 of the sifat, so we find that the ayah that I've just read contains many of the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, starting with the Bismillah rahman rahim uh, You will find that in the formulations of the Bismillah and um, the ayah that we, uh, we recited, that it contains the Ismul Adam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what is this Ismul A'adham of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It is that name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that it is, if it is called upon, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have already answered um, the seeking of a sa'il before he has even asked. You know, that, uh, uh, and, and that is some of the specific uh, benefits of the Rati uh, that each and every formula, whether it is Quran or Sunnah, you will find that it, it contains Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ismul A'adham. And some of the scholars would say that sometimes uh, there is consensus that this could be 
uh, 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 Allah, or it could be any of the other formulations that is entrenched in the Quran and in the Hadith. Um, like in the Hadith says, بَيْنَ الْهَاتَيْنَ الْآيَتَيْنَ وَإِلَاهُكُمْ إِلَاهُ وَاحِدُ اللَّهِ إِلَاهَ إِلَّا وَالرَّحْمَنُ الرَّحِيمُ اللَّهُ لَا إِلَاهَ إِلَّا وَالْحَيُّ الْقَيُّمُ One of the, the, uh, uh, um, the alfad read in these two ayahs that are separate, uh, separate in the Qur'an, and we find we read this uh, uh, sometimes in some of the, um, uh, the ratibs or some of the uh, uh, adhkar and invocations, that uh, joining these two brings you close to, to the fact that either one of Allah, uh, Allah Taala's uh, uh, Ismul Adam is con confined into those names, and that if you have read that uh, uh, invocation with sincerity, and had the need that you expressed before reading that, that Allah SWT would have um, already granted you. So the Zikr Thani, that if I want everybody to read, uh, even though I can't hear you, A'udhu Billahi Sameel Alim Min ash Rajim, A'udhu Billahi Sameel Alim Min ash Rajim, A'udhu Billahi Sameel Alim Min ash Rajim. So we seek protection, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is all hearing and all seeing, mina shaitan rajim So we find that here, you'll find that this dhikr joins between the zahir and the batin. But it first mentions the batin. Hearing is opposed to seeing and is opposed to mushahada, you know, witnessing. Uh, you know, the difference in seeing with your eyes and seeing with your basira, uh, uh, that inner sight which one is granted or gifted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in interacting with this great ad adhkar that is compiled in uh, 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 this ratib. So we seek protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the all-hearing, the all-knowing from a shaitan ir rajim so that would be the second vicar, um, and it has great um, benefits uh, in terms of, of reading that Imam Ghazali, for instance, says that know that the heart is Hisnun Hasin. The heart is a fortified fortress, and Shaitan is its Adu. So whoever wants to enter into this hissen, into this fortress, and to own it, you must istola alayhi. You must conquer it, and you must preserve your power over it. وَلَا يَقْدِرُ عَلَى حِرَاسَةَ أَبْوَابِهِ مَنْ لَا يَعْرِفُ أَبْوَابَهُ وَمُدَاخِلَهُ So one will not enter even the Khurasa, those guards that will safeguard the entrance into that, they will be deprived from entering into it if they do not have the connection and understanding uh, of heart, how to enter it and to protect it from the facade of shaitan and his waswasa, which is wajib. So, uh, Again, um, you know, to allude that dhikr is not something that is, um, you know, some people say it is, um, it is nafi. You know, first look after the fara'id and then you can look after dhikr. That is really a statement of juhal. Because how can you attain a particular ibadah without dhikr? As-salama al dhikr a dhikr ma'a dhikr, a zakah ma'a dhikr, hajj wa dhikr. Um, you know, so nothing, yeah, nothing can be a void of dhikr. Um, and therefore, the benefit of this uh, dhikr, as explained by uh, 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 Sheikh Ali al-Baras, um, has a tremendous uh, uh, um, influence on the heart. So the heart is a despot. It is a, 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 a unruly king. If you do not, if you do not uh, subjugate it to the laws of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, to the remembrance of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, 
it will make its junood run after every whims and fancy of this dunya. The eyes will attract you to the beauties of the dunya. Uh, the heart will send you into that, uh, that direction. The hands will physically make you attain that haram. The feet will take you there. You know, every uh, 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 pumping of the blood, like they would say, would want you to be into that haram. So the only way to to istola alayhi bi dhikrillah and some of the uh, uh, tahsin of these askar will come from the ratibul atas. Um, the third, the fourth zikr, uh, the third zikr mark, Bismillah illadhi la yadurru ma'a ismihi shay'un fil ardi wa la fis sama'i wa huwa samiun alim. Bismillah illadhi la yadurru ma'a ismihi shay'un fil ardi wa la fis sama'i wa huwa samiun alim. Bismillah illadhi la yadurru ma'a ismihi shay'un fil ardi wa la fis sama'i wa huwa samiun alim. So the reading of this azkar is found in the prophetic sunnah. More specifically, uh, when Khalid bin Walid has conquered some of the uh, uh, avenues that he uh, waged war against the Kufar, uh, one of the uh, uh, rulers of that place had a pouch of, 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 of poison on him. Uh, Imam Khalid bin Walid uh, uh, asked, what is in it? He says it's a potion of uh, um, poison. Uh, and I would test your belief by asking you to drink from that. So Khalid bin Walid then uh, drank from that, and they were astonished that the effect of the poison did not uh, uh, um, have any effect on Khalid bin Walid. It, sa- it stated that he, he drank it with water afterwards. Uh, in some of the uh, traditions, and some said he did not drink the water. But for, suffice to say, the reading of this uh, 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 prophetic uh, invocation, which is advised in the Sunnah to be read in the mornings and the evenings, uh, that you will be uh, protected from every harm except death, except when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has. Um, made qadr or takdir of your death that you will pass away but it is a immense uh, a immensely strong zikr for protection in all circumstances the fourth zikr bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah al-aliyyul azim so yeah we say we state that the combination of of reading in the name of allah the beneficent the merciful there is no power, no might, except by the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is indeed high and most magnanimous. So, while the other azkar that we uh, mentioned before was read in formula of three as found in the sunnah, we will find that the advice of this is ten times also found in the sunnah. Then the fifth uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the name of Allah The Beneficent, the Merciful Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Some of the uh, uh, the lagus that was used by some of our locals So suffice in, um, in hadith Whoever reads Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim sincerely even if it is once in his life, he will receive a protection from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those protection extends over the 19 characters of Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, the ba, the seen, the meme, Allah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So the value of this dhikr is a dhikrul jami'ah. It is a dhikr that unifies and includes every other zikr that we know. Why? Because Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim is a summary of all the revealed books, the hundred revealed books. This was summarized and revealed into four books. The Torah, the Injil, the Zabur, and the Quran. So the entire uh, uh, narrations uh, uh, or, or revelations from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then is compiled 
and unified into one surah of the Quran, the greatest surah in which Imam al-Haddad starts his ratib, uh, is Surah Fatiha. And the benefit of all those revelations is then compiled into one verse, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And then scholars go further and say, all these revelations are compiled into only the dot that is found below the bar. Some of them would say that is an expression that Allah is da'iratul hujud. Af um I see there's been a um, a comment, uh, Khalid bin Walid, inshallah. Uh, not even uh, uh, so. So so uh, uh, we'll discuss that, inshallah. But um, for the benefit of um, the fact that this Dikru Jami, Bismillah Rahman Rahim, is a culmination of the entire uh, 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 revelations found in or sent to humanity that uh, a Rasul has brought to um, the creation. A Dikru Sadis, Bismillah ta Hassan Billah, Bismillah ta Wakala, Bismillah ta Hassan Billah. Bismillah itawakalna billa, Bismillah ita hassanna billa, Bismillah itawakalna billa. So again, this zikr is introduced with uh, the Ismul Adam. We fortify ourselves in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we place all our, uh, our, uh, um, our dependence on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the zikru sabi'ah, Bismillah amanna billah, wa may yu'min billah la khawfun alayhi. So, in the name of Allah, we testify and we verify our belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And from hadith, wa may yu'min billah, whoever believes in Allah la khawfun alayhi, that there is no type of fear that will enter into your life. If you look at the Ahlu Ghazza, this is a, a culmination of that, uh, the, the extreme tawakkul on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, in the face of a tyrant. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanallah al azim So uh, this great dhikr, uh, again, immense with uh, mentioning again Lafdul Jalala, the necessity of, of, of thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the word subhan, whenever you see, you will find that the servant uh, 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 describes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his attributes uh, free from any defects or faults. You know, uh, praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then praising again Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his name Ismul Azim. So some of the scholars, um, again, uh, if you look at that, بَيْنَ هَاتَيْنَ الْآيَتَيْنَ وَإِلَاهُكُمْ إِلَاهُ وَحْدُ اللَّهِ إِلَاهِ إِلَّا وَالرَّحْمَنُ الرَّحِيمُ اللَّهُ لَا إِلَاهِ إِلَّا وَحَيُّ الْقَيُّمُ لَا وَحَيُّ الْقَيُّمُ You will find that um, these uh, uh, al-fad, lafzu al-jalala, and the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, again alludes to the ism al-a'zam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, the uh, dhikr al-ashir, the 10th dhikr, subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wa allahu akbar. Um, I have uh, confined myself into not uh, going into the great shah, uh, shuruh of this, uh, because it is a bahar la sahila laha. It is an ocean that is entire, does not have uh, 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 shores. You know, so uh, we can engage into further... Um, explanations of this. Uh, this is really now at the simplistic stage to try and get through uh, uh, all of uh, the um, the azkar. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wa allahu akbar, al-baqiyat al-salihat. Again, uh, here uh, in the sunnah, the repetition here is on four, uh, according to Sheikh Abdurrahman al uh, The The um, this dhikr is profound in that it is one of the azkar from the, the Qur'an itself. Uh, and we know the, uh, the formula of azkar in the Qur'an is the greatest. 
Uh, inshallah, I'm just going to go through the, uh, I have a janaza to attend, but I'm going to go through the 17 quickly, inshallah. The uh, the 12th, Ya Latif and Lam Yazal Urtuf Bina Fima Nazal in Nak Latif and Lam Tazal Urtuf Bina Wal Muslimin. In this zikr, we appeal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his subtle uh, 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 attributes in which he, in which he uh, benefits uh, uh, mankind in all sizes and all forms. This is one of the specific azkar that has been mentioned that uh, Imam al-Haddad was asked uh, by uh, a Sayyid that was uh, nearing death. And he was in the city of Tarim, and he had a great hope to go to his uh, family. And he asked Imam al-Haddad to, 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 uh, for benefit, uh, to ask Allah to intercede with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam al-Haddad advised him to read, in some riwayat, the entire Ratib al uh, And in some riwayat, this specific, Ya Latifan bi khalqi, Ya Aliman bi khalqi, Utub bina Ya Latif, Ya Alim, Ya Khabir. Um, so uh, great benefits from this. The... Um, the next sticker, Ya Latif and Lam Yazal Utub Bina Fima Nazal Inna Latif and Lam Tazal Utub Bina Wal Muslimin. So, uh, in this specific case, uh, uh, it precedes the, the dhikr of uh, uh, Ya Latif, Allah's uh, subtle uh, attribute. Again, um, seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subtle uh, uh, yalp uh, in the uh, quest of a, um, in the quest of a, uh, uh, a murid. The 13th, Zikr La Ilaha Illallah. This is the one that I've explained that is re read either 100 times or 70 times or 40 times. Um, one of the scholars, uh, the great scholars and uh, students of Imam al-Haddad, uh, 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 Zain, uh, uh, Ahmad bin Zain uh, 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 al-Habshi, he states that if you sit in a Zikr and you only read La Ilaha Illallah, uh, and you leave the uh, uh, the gathering, you will have been uh, illuminated with a nur that you did not have prior to entering to, into the dhikr. The next one, Hasbun Allah wa Ni'am al Wakil, uh, um, is a dhikr that is repeated seven times in the Sunnah. You will find that in the Sunnah there is an uh, 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 interaction between three and seven times. Some of the scholars uh, uh, say that the three times uh, virtually. Uh, alludes to the fact that that sunnah is found uh, profoundly in, in, in one's daily life. And the seven times uh, usually alludes to the fact, uh, virtually in the same case that uh, tawaf is seven and not three, because not everybody makes tawaf every day. And because it is nawadir sunnah, it is an exceptional sunnah, it is therefore found to be uh, in formulae of seven. Then we find that... Uh, the, the 15th dhikr, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad, Allahumma salli alayhi wa sallam. Uh, this is also a, a dhikrul jami' because the, these are one of the adhkar that anyone recite uh, this will know that there is a benefit from and an answer from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept you the time that you uh, uh, send salawat on Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A dhikr sadis ashara astaghfirullah Ihda ashara marra, 11 times. Astaghfirullah, 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 11 times. Um, again, the, the benefit of this dhikr is that uh, Allah SWT, asking Allah SWT to, 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 to forgive any shortcomings of the of the servant in, in trying to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then uh, the next dhikr, ta'ibuna ilallah, ta'ibuna ilallah. Uh, uh, and that uh, is also done uh, uh, either once or thrice. A dhikr sabi ashar, ya, ya Allahu biha, ya Allahu biha, ya Allah bi husn khatima. Uh, we stated that it's one of the magnificent features of this ratib that uh, one is um, uh, secured if you have muwadaba. Uh, if you do this uh, um, every day without fail, also if you if you do fail to 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 read it in its written time, you can read the qada of the zikr in any other time when you have available time, and you will be rewarded. Uh, 
uh, as if you have read it in its uh, 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 prefer uh, pref preferential times. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by concluding with this zikr, Ya Allah biha, Ya Allah biha, Ya Allah bi husn khatima, that he grinds each and every one of us in the least to pass away as Muslims and then to enable us to, 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 to interact with the formulae of dhikr uh, as stated by Sayyidina uh, Abdurrahman al Athas, who uh, again, um, I will encourage you to do it in groups, but also to read it into uh, solely because of the immense uh, uh, obscurity of a, a great saint as uh, Sayyidina Abdurrahman al Athas. Uh, and the particular benefit that you will find uh, 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 reading in a space of void of time, place, and disturbance. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, um, that he also uh, grant us the benefit and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also uh, oversee my um, shortcomings of speech, of conveying and understanding uh, of some of the greatest walis of uh, this tariqa, uh, which I can say you, uh, I say to you upfront that it is impossible for anyone to describe the benefit uh, al Fatiha. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya wa musaneen, sayyidina wa habibina wa shafiina wa maulana Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, rabbana la tada'lana fi maqamina hadha dhamban illa ghafarta, ولا هم إلا فرجت ولا مريدا إلا شفيت ولا ميتا إلا رحمت ولا مجاهدا إلا نصرته في دينك يا رب العالمين الله منصرنا ولا تنصر علينا وامكر لنا ولا تمكر علينا الله منصر إخواننا المجاهدين في فلسطين وفي القدس وفي كل أرض يذكر في اسم الله الله, محسي... الله منصرهم على عدوك وعلى عدوهم Allah maksimum ada dah waktu lum bade dah walatu wajib minum ahda. Robbal atukabal mina ini kan tersamin alim waktu bade ini ini kan tertawab rahim. Wassalallahu ala sayyidina Muhammadin nabi ummi wa ala ali wa sabi wa barik wa salim. Subhanahu rabbina rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamu ala musalim wa hamdulillah rabbil alamin. We ask you for forgiveness in rushing and also not being able to to um, make you fully benefit, inshallah, I hope with the little uh, benefit that we arrived at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, increase your, uh, 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 your uh, traversing of this path, and the higher, the utmost uh, um, uh, reach for each and every murid is to become murad. You know that we, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will seek your presence uh, uh, in any place if he wants people to be uh, benefit. And that is uh, the path on which our teacher uh, Habib is. We know that he is Murad. You know, uh, in every uh, speck on this earth, inshallah, we ask Allah uh, uh, for his guidance.